Hello and welcome. We are Real Juicy News and we found this exciting news article on the late great Elvis Presley biopic about to be released or just released and New Zealand's own top Elvis impersonator. But what we're really looking at is this claim release or trailer for Elvis Presley's biopic sparks debate about singer stealing music from black artists and grooming a 14 year old our view on that is sure he liked black people he loved negroes and supposedly he emulated their style the history of Elvis Presley apparently was that there was a possibly a black church minister who influenced him to dance and gyrate, gyrate the way he did throughout his career as for grooming the 14 year old that would probably be in reference to his then young girlfriend Priscilla Burley while he was beginning his career but as many Elvis fans will probably know he was told by his father don't go there son don't make any mention of it as Jerry Lee Lewis's career had just been ruined you don't want to go down that track Plus, Elvis took it on board because he loved to tour and so forth. Okay, so this article states the release of a trailer for Baz Luhrmann's upcoming Elvis Presley biopic has prompted a heated debate about the singer's life, including assertions he stole his music from black artists and groomed a 14-year-old girl. Again, he went to different parts of America, the South and the white folk turned on him saying he was this and that he was an end lover or well, this was the black negro lover so he either did the show or he refused to do it he wanted all types of people there at a show so yes he wasn't a racist he even bought things for black couples like a limousine or something or whatever it was a Cadillac when he met them in a store somewhere or a car store or something like that yeah you really need to know the history behind this Elvis but we are aware that yeah through different videos and stuff that you know, as, as avid Elvis fans we woke up and realised yeah behind the scenes Elvis was a completely different person The release of a trailer for Baz Luhrmann's upcoming Elvis Presley biopic has prompted a heated debate about the singer's life, including assertions he stole his music from black artists and groomed a 14-year-old. The first look at Elvis, in which the king of rock and roll was played by Austin Butler, has drawn attention for all the wrong reasons, as online commentators question which parts of the music legend's life will be highlighted in the film. Hope you all include how he stole from black culture since you all announced this Announcing this during Black History Month, one Twitter user wrote in response to the trailer. This article here, the actor who beat Harry Styles to play Elvis, well, don't really think Styles should play him, but yeah, each to his own. Kiwi Brendan Chase could be world's best Elvis impersonator. Yeah, let's see. Is the part where Elvis ripped off his entire sound from Black Artist showing? Another asked. Elvis stole everything from Black Artist. He was a great impersonator, said a third. One moment in the trailer shows a young Elvis wandering into a black church in his hometown of Tupelo, Mississippi, where he becomes overcome by the power of the gospel music being performed there. Later in his career, he would use elements of gospel interwoven with the sounds of country, blues and rock and roll. The question of how much the Hound Dog singer borrowed and profited from the musical stylings and talent 
of the black musicians of the 1950s has long been debated. Artists such as Big Joe Turner, Chuck Berry, Little Richard and Bo Diddley enjoyed commercial success after Elvis's acceptance by mainstream audiences. They thought he was too black. Right. Uh, however, many of those acts heavily influenced his music before he found fame. But Sam Phillips wanted a white, black-sounding singer. Right, and he found him through Elvis, in Elvis. Fans of the King rushed to his defence. Among that, Elvis was simply part of an industry in which performers have an effect on one another's work. It's not shown because he never stole anything. It's called being influenced by other artists. Not really sure how you would understand this. I mean, it would be like saying the Beatles stole the sound of Buddy Holly, one Twitter user wrote. Elsewhere, people honed in on Elvis's controversial relationship with Priscilla Presley, who he met when she was just 14 and he was 24. The pair dated on and off for a few years before Priscilla moved to Memphis, Tennessee, to live with Elvis while she continued to go high, to high school. Well, apparently throughout his career, in her book Elvis and Me, she was upset because she found out that he was wooing other female celebrities. Well in Hollywood etc. Elvis and Priscilla were married in 1967 when Priscilla was 21 years old and the couple welcomed their baby nine months later. Priscilla maintained the pair didn't fully consummate their marriage until their wedding night. Yeah, read the book Elvis and Me. She was a young teenager with her urges but supposedly in that book he had his everything under control but who really knows the truth about that right? I wonder if they'll add his obsession with teenagers and how his future wife was a kid when he noticed her. One tweet said of the Elvis trailer. Yes, yeah, future wife, you married her at 21. States up here. Where is your outrage over the biopic ignoring Elvis's grooming and molesting a 14 year old girl? Where's the proof that he did that? Oh, he is white. I get it. Read another. Okay. The film's director, Baz Luhrmann. Lerman dubbed Elvis the original punk and speaking about his new film adding he was wildly provocative there really were riots Elvis is set to hit cinemas in June this year 2022 Be interesting so here's a trailer of that